So we head off then for the next final. As you see, the uh, javel women's javelin uh, gold medalist watching, uh, presumably she's watching the, uh, the men's uh, final unfold. Maria Abakamova, who won last night with 65 metres 12 ahead of her fellow Russian, Sudarskina, and the Austrian Elizabeth Ebel. Well, we will be introduced to these finalists one by one, the 200 metre finalists. You saw the uh, full line up there. So the leggings are taken off. I'm on the television. I'm on the big screen. They're in lane three, Hannah Marie Latvala of Finland. And our volunteer kit carriers smartly exit. Volunteers here doing a fantastic job. They are a delightful group of young people. Many of them speak English. So here we come, the final of the women's 200 metres. And we'll go to lane one first. And there is Gunnery. Marie Jose Talu of the Côte d'Ivoire, 2012 African bronze medalist. In lane two, with a lifetime best of 23.21 from the States, Tristy Johnson. And then we'll be introduced to the Finnish student, Hannah Marie Latvala, fourth in the 100 meters yesterday. Then from Canada, semi finalist in 2011, 2000. A nine silver medalists at the World University Games. Kimberly Hyacinth from Ru Romania. Sorry, that was Kimberly Hyacinth of Canada. Then from Romania, Andrea Ograznu, 100-meter bronze medalist. Can she medal in the 200? Can she better that bronze medal in the one, that she got in the 100? Shean Davis in Canada, World Junior and World Youth semi-finalist. Then the two Russians, Nahedza, Kot Yarova, 4 by 400 meter relay silver medalist at the European indoors, and then at her first major championship, set her lifetime best at the Russian Cup in June of 23.27, Anastasia Kotsuzova. So the crowd will help, hopefully go quiet for the start of this 200 metres. Respecting both the start team and the athletes, giving them the best chance to perform at their best. For some of them, such as uh, Zova, the Russian first major championship, the nerves will be jangling. Can Ograznu medal in the 200 metres? Bronze medalist yesterday in lane five. The fast. Fos... 22.79, the Canadian's best, her season's best. So she is in trem tremendous form. The only sub 23 woman in the field. She goes in lane four. In the white vest, a tall figure, black shorts. She's running a pretty good bend. Also going well is Cheyenne Davis. Davis comes off the bend, narrowly in the lead. Hyacinth has all her running to do on her outside of Grasno. But here comes Hyacinth. Here comes the Canadian. 
and going also well is Hannah Marie Latvala, but it is a Canadian who takes it on the line. But Latvala will be delighted because she was fourth yesterday, run out of a medal yesterday, but she gets the silver medal today, the silver for Finland. But as they came off the bend, there was little doubt about who the winner was going to be. The tall, long striding Kimberly Hyerson, the only sub. 23 second woman in the field 22.79 if it's confirmed she has run a lifetime best we will have to check the wind speed it is confirmed at 22.78 22.98 to a delighted Hannah Marie Latvala and bronze medalist Ograznu so she adds 200 meter bronze to 100 meter bronze well, what a fantastic race that was. Great running and looking at this uh, list, the top four women all smashing their lifetime bests. And Kimberly Hyacinth racing away. She really had to race though because Hannah Marie Latvala really pushed her off the bend. Latvala really coming of age in this championships. But Kimberly Hyacinth, who took a gold medal as part of the 4x400 meter relay squad, at the World University Games of 2009 has taken her first global individual title here. Brilliant running, wonderful, elegant running. Really does remind me of Marie-José Perec, the way she runs. Fantastic long legs, really elegant, graceful run. And there it is, confirmation of four personal bests. With a wind speed of plus 1.6. It's so legal. legal wind speed. Oh, what a very, very good 200 metres. I hope the men's is as good as that. Women's 200 metres medal ceremony is up next then. And yet again, we've had some fantastic races today. This quite perhaps wasn't world class like we saw in the 100 meter hurdles just a few months ago but not there's no denying here that this race was the best that the top four women in it had ever run for personal best for everybody all the way down to the fourth medal finisher shy ann davis of canada who missed out on bronze by just two hundredths of a second so the usual custom at the medal ceremony for the vips the presenters to uh, be introduced to the crowd. So Andrea Ogrezenu is uh, introduced to the crowd, the bronze medalist with that new lifetime best of 23.10. Lovely smile from her. And these are quite special medals that have been designed for the 2013 Universiad here in Kazan. They are finely made and they are in fact quite delicate. So bronze in both events for Graziano. In a decent haul for the Romanian. And a delighted Hannah. Mari Latvala, who was fourth in the 100 metres. She takes silver in the 200 metres. She might have been disappointed at the end of the 100. She certainly will not be disappointed with her performance in the 200 metres, as you can tell from her reaction. Now the 2013 World University Games champion with a fine Fine run, 22.78, winning by two tenths of a second, Kimberly Heisen. And next, the medalists and the presentation party will turn towards the flags, and we will hear once again the Fizu anthem.
She's no stranger to uh, major championships, is Kimberly Hyacinth, but this is the first time she's ever stood on the top step individually. And she can hardly believe it, as you can see, she almost stumbled into the arms of Latvala. It was a really great race, and Hyacinth owed her finish, really, to the pressure she was put under by the Finn. Not often you see a Finn on a sprinting podium. It's good to see that here at the World University Games. Well, the action hasn't finished. We uh, still have the final of the women's 3,000 metres steeplechase to come. Also heats of the men's 5,000 are scheduled, although after the women's were cancelled yesterday, we're not quite so sure, but we do have start lists, so that's one thing.